Hello and welcome to Yaogai Gaming where we're playing 7 Days to Die and continuing our Nightmare Insane Permadeath playthrough. So it is Horde Night and we don't have a huge amount of time. So what I'm thinking is that we this bicycle for a start because it's kind of in the way. And then we go pick up a maybe like a tier 2 or a tier 3 quest and see if we can, or a fetch quest maybe. Um, sorry, a buried treasure quest, and we see if we can get one of those done before the horde comes. Let's just get back out to our 4x4. Four four. Alright, so let's see what quests we've got off on our front, and see if there's anything that we think we could get smashed out before this horde arrives. Also, I'm thinking it would be really slow. I'm really not sure. All keen on this heavy armor. Here. Okay, what jobs do you have? Alright, so these are all clear for tier 4. So if we go back and I'm gonna clear Can zombies hundred meters with... away. Thank sure, you. let's do that. I bet you do this for yeah, it's literally too. just there. We've done this one before, but we can smash it out quickly. <laughs> Start saving up some money because I'm thinking we might want to respec at some point. I'm really not sure I'm feeling this heavy armor. It's so fucking slow. Right. Okay. No, actually, I don't think. Oh, we have done this farm before. It's got the, the pig in there, hasn't it? Yep. Yeah, Alright. Okay, let's shut that. Let's see. No one around here. Okay. The bathroom. Oh god. There we go. <laughs> you caught me completely by surprise. Oh, we've done this before. Still caught me by surprise though. All right. And. There we go. Okay. Let's axe this stuff. It's a really easy one. That's 60, 120, And then a bit of cloth as well. Okay, so it must be upstairs now then. Let's have a look through here into this bathroom. And radiators. That's something we actually really need. We're using bullets at the moment now, aren't we? Can't forget that. Cannot forget how important radiators are. We'll search this whole house for radiators, actually. There's another one there, and we'll search these two rooms here. We're gonna have someone coming out of there. Yeah! <laughs> right, we'll put the radiator. And then we've got a pile of clothes. I don't think we need anything. Ooh, some clothes, but that's nice. That's a really good little little find. Huh. Probably sell it. And then we'll grab all of this stuff because screws and whatnot can always be used. Same thing, yep. We should be able to get one or maybe even two of these quests before the horde comes. And then I'm not sure how big tonight's horde is going to be, how much trouble we're going to have with it. Let's just check downstairs for more, any more radiators. Because we didn't actually look for them when we were down here. Mm, this bedroom might have one? No, but we'll grab the bed. Alright. Okay, let's go up and finish clearing it then. It should be pretty straightforward now. Should be just one or two more in like the main room maybe. Oops. Oh, it's upstairs, isn't it? It's up here. Yeah. There's a radiator here. And a pack of What's that? Dogs. How many? That's a coyote. Oh, 
Is that a pack of coyotes? What the hell are they doing here? And then somewhere down here there's some dogs as well. Should we see what's going on? Just a random coyotes. I honestly thought they only spawned in the desert. I mean, you know. Can we get that one without leaving the quest area? Yeah. Nice, 45 meat. Alright, yeah. I'm not going to complain about that at all. And we'll get some rotten flesh from these guys. Not a lot of it, but still a little bit. Then let's go up and have a look what we've got going on up here. At least three. Move over here. Oh, he's feral, that's why he's gonna die every time. Ah, I'm being hit a lot. Oh crap, I didn't see the bike. That went well. Get ourselves healed up, that went really well, didn't it? <laughs> Tier 2 quest and I almost died. Jesus, that's embarrassing. Alright, let's see what we've got in the ammo. Oh, shit. That's the shit. That's not great. Why is the loot really bad? Can't use it because it's a sprain, not a break. Okay. What the heck? Why? We got absolutely wrecked there. That's not brilliant. We're going to need to take some steroids. Alright. Alright, let's get out of here, I think. Where's the way out? <sighs> yeah, we'll go through this one where the uh, the dogs killed it. And we think there's a another enemy and a pig in there, don't we? So, there was last time, anyway. There we go. There's the enemy. Alright, so we actually got a decent amount of meat from doing this, which is, you know, that's good at the very least, isn't it? Even if the actual, uh, that final fight was just a absolute mess. It's been a, it's been a few days since I've played, so, actually it's been about a week. <laughs> but no excuses, no excuses, that was just, that was just sloppy, really. Uh, let's get in our car and we're going to need to go and grab a step. But it didn't take that long. We might actually be able to hammer out another one. So. That's something at the very least. We can get some uh, some money and some rewards from it. So not not the end of the world something that we messed up. Like gratitude, friend. What do we want from this? Absolutely not of that's very useful. Get the knife and we'll just sell it. Yeah. Okay, I'll sell you that and... Enchant that. 
All right, cool. And then you come the back job. sometime. Two hundred meters away. Yeah, all right, I really admire you. Brilliant. I guess this kind of. Okay, let's go grab a steroid. Mm, six o'clock. We are going to be pushing it, I think. But what's life without a little? Oh crap! We haven't actually put our uh, hard base back together. All right, let's put the hard base back together first. That's. So what do we got? We've got some food. And here it should be coming now. I've just actually put an extra quick plate there. Just so that the cops are less likely to get me. Yeah, I can move and hide a little bit better. Alright, we've upgraded this to a vault door. Fully concreted. Kill number one. It's actually really quickly if we can check our kills. 1,486. I don't understand how Oh, those swings are good. We're in a good little box here. I know we said last time that it might not hold anymore, but I think it's got another... I think it's got another hold. Let's like a little bit more, let's just turn up on Jesus, that's a lot. Ah, we need to start. Putting shotgun shells into the game. We've got a lot of shotgun shells. Oh, we have a crippled, um... Crippled bike and the shotgun's great. It puts on many points of strength, so... Even though we haven't expected a shotgun. Still a really good weapon. We've got our machine gun with an absolute ton of ammo. At the moment, the shotgun's doing a great job. Yeah, if they don't come at me, there's not really a lot to do with them without these guns. Unfortunately, they kind of have to come at me. But Jesus, that's a lot. We might some cocktails on the hatch here would be really good. We can open it and shoot down on them. Oh, he's still standing. Not anymore. The issue with the shotgun is its range, really. Struggling. Hello, Mama. Let's not get that repaired yet, then. There we go. It's great that we can now one off the other See, just blow through like this is really easy. Just use our, um, like, kind of, like, steel now. Yeah, it's still easy. I don't think 
probably reset. Boss, but not that one. Beautiful looking. I could get an auto shotgun with this big Hello. Got the first one to get to me in a little while. Because the only weakness of this one is, is how um, how slow it fires. It's got another he ha another level point. Let's go. We need a better. Uh, The only issue I can see with shotguns is the polishes. Because they shoot a spread. But they don't have to shoot a spread, do they? The auto shotgun has like a pellet. I mean, yeah, the slug. That is a pellet. Not a pellet. That's not a pellet, that takes one round. You'll have to forgive my lack of understanding of how firearms work. British! Only handled them a couple of times. Right. They're ripping down there. It's good, I mean, it kinda, it's kind of nice that we've got something that they keep themselves distracted on. When they go into that rage mode, they will attack something. We've got a cop wandering around. Let's see if we can deal with him. Where is it? There he is. Don't know if we can finish him off now. Probably not. Oh, yes, definitely proceeded to up. <laughs> Back to the shotgun, I think. Not even got a pop yet, it's still coming then. Alright, let's see if we can get a second. Yep, yeah, there we go. Let's, let's get that healed up. That healed up. And all of this. There we go. Come on down. I'll have to get you down. No, why would you run away? Oh, and you're still alive. Alright. Oh! I love our house in the distance. Not quite too many of the super high level ones, yeah. Yeah, we've got Vikings on top of the pops, but no demolishers. I haven't seen any whites this time yet either. Or radio So I don't think we're super high onto the whole um the hard pops. Oh, a feral, um... Feral lumberjack. No, you pushed my feral lumberjack away. I was... Ah, no. It doesn't seem we're getting feral soldiers either. Regular soldiers. Yeah, no, thank you. We should probably heal ourselves up a little bit. We are. We have taken a tiny bit of damage, and there's no point getting hurt and getting killed accidentally because we can't bother to heal ourselves. So we'll just pick up a bit of a bandage off. And then we'll go back to shotgunning somewhere. I don't think we'll get another level. It's what it is. 
another cop. Also, why we changed this to have plates in front of it, just to make make it just a little bit more secure. For us from, uh, I wonder when they bring NPCs in, because they are they have I'm sure that they've said that they're doing that, like bandits and stuff. Because um, Dukes is supposed to be a bad guy. When they do that, if you're gonna have hordes that come with ranged weapons, you know, like Rimworld style assaults, where they first arrive with like, primitive bows and clubs, and shit, and by the end they're coming with actual guns. I don't know if the AI in this game could handle that. But it's really cool. You know, so like as Duke's on the mountain on your head, it's like he doesn't like you or whatever. Because even when he leaves you to die, you know, So as Duke's open, it puts the bounty on your head, so you get stronger groups trying to come play in there, so that's why I'm going to get that. That's just my rambling to that person. Yeah, I'm probably wrong about that. What I want to happen might not actually work if you put it into the game, but I just think that'd be really cool. Need to get through this part because I'm someone who's trying to do his job. In the real world is trying to get there. But that's fine. Game's not a part. Ah! I hit the police officer in my life. He's still alive. There we go. Oh! Jesus, a Molotov cocktail would be nice right about now. Sure, 
shotgun. Beautiful things in this game. But I'm not sure how they're doing in the, uh, the big end game POIs where it's all open and they're all coming out. Maybe in those situations, shotguns are not great. I have seen some people on like, Reddit the groups and stuff talking about how they, they find the shotgun overwhelming in the game POIs. But I don't think I've ever actually done a shotgun build in the end game. Nope, that's not true. I've done one of them at the end of the game, but I was playing with my wife before we did that. So it wasn't I was never solo. I had a shot that she had the uh, big magnum the desert furniture. So it was like massive damage basically. Oh, it's actually almost 4 a.m. We're almost there. Still have a ton of them left. I don't know what Oh, the cop almost got to us that time. I think we should probably take him out now. Where is he? He's there. Pops, looks like it might. Hey. Alright, almost dead in this morning now. So it should just be a case of killing everything left, really. We shouldn't be overly dead. Health is played really well. I do think it's getting very close to the wire. I don't know whether or not this place can keep holding off all Really, really close to the edge. Okay, let's uh, get the uh, RT next. I'm near left down here. Oh, an annoying lot of It shouldn't be like totally difficult or overly dangerous to deal with, but it's not like we can pull it out. Yeah, no. you, maybe 200 shotgun shells? Shotgun is efficient, I'll give it that. Apparently we're wet. I feel like that's kind of the least of a concern for my character. Oh, okay. Right, let's almost there now. Watch a wandering hard battle squad and join them maybe like 50 strong or something. Or a bunch of screamers will turn up to the shooting. It's never end. It does look pretty good in that little house. <laughs> Moments then, maybe a few left. Around that, okay. Terrible shot. Didn't 
quite get two levels of course. Hopefully. Hard knights aren't actually that great for leveling, really, are they? You just don't get that much XP for killing zombies compared to crafting resource gathering. The quickest way of leveling up in this game is just to sit there and build something. Which is kind of silly, really, when you think about it. I do think maybe they should buff the amount of XP you get from killing zombies. Maybe not the basic ones, maybe like keep the basic XP and then buff the feral and the, uh, the special zombies XP you get great that you get. He's still alive. Alright, it's the shotgun, it's got it's rubbish at this range. There we go. Right, let's empty our inventory into the van, to our car, and then we can see what we're going to pick up. So we'll empty all of this, all our medicine, and all our tools. We'll just basically empty everything apart from this. And then we'll put on our looting goggles. And let's see what we get. Get some ammo, some food and water. They are nerfing the amount of ammo you get in these. If you look at the new patch notes for the next, um, for the next update, they are nerfing how much ammo you find in these yellow bags. I think they're nerfing ammo finds in general a little bit, actually. Is that it? I think we lost one. I think one of them dis despawned. But right, let's get safe. And let's put them. So we've got a couple of hundred. 9 mil, a couple hundred, 7.6, some magnum, some shotgun shells, some food. Yeah, I mean, all in all, not a terrible little stash of, of stuff, actually. Quite helpful. N not, didn't quite recover the amount we put into the hard, but got some back. And we got um, the right stuff back. We got 7.62, which is what we want. You Though we spent shotgun shells, so it's, it's kind of working out well. Because I like having the uh, the rifle for um, POIs. I think the rifle's better than the shotgun for POIs, but the shotgun does a really good job in hordes when you can control where they're coming from and you can fight at that sort of optimal shotgun distance. Let's go get the stuff out of the truck, actually. I don't know why I left it all in there. Alright, so I'm going to sort all this inventory out, and that is all we've got time for for today, so thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.